Hello friends, this lecture is a part of an enemy ICT project funded by Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. The lecture is on continuous culture fermentation process. Now what is continuous culture fermentation process? This is known as a steady state or balanced growth. Microbial population can be maintained in a state of exponential growth for a long time by using a system of continuous culture. Medium is supplied continuously. The growth is restricted by the substrate. And exponential growth is continued till the fermentation is completely filled with media. If the medium is added constantly, at particular rate to the fermenter, formation of new cells in the medium is balanced by the removal of cells from the fermenter. Thus, rate at which new medium is added to the fermenter in constant to the quality of the medium is termed as dilution rate D and it is defined as D equal to F upon V, where F is flow rate and V is volume. Thus, this will be expressed in R. The net change in the cell concentration over a time period may be expressed as dx upon dt equal to growth minus output. So, dx upon dt equal to micro x upon dx. Under steady state condition, the cell concentration remains constant and thus gives following picture. Thus, growth rate is controlled by the dilution rate of the medium. Continuous culture environment are common in nature. For example, the human gastrointestinal tract supports a population of well fed normal microbial flora by continuous addition of food by the individual. These organisms are in a constant state of reproduction since fresh nutrients are supplied and gastrointestinal uh, contents are flushed out of the body with the feces. Continuous culture is obtained by using two different type of devices that is chemostate and turbidostate. First, chemostate. It is a simple device consists of a culture vessel in which the cells are grown. Culture vessel is attached to a fresh medium vessel in which sterile medium is filled. It is also connected to the connector that provide fresh air for the growth of the cell in the culture vessel. The overflow medium containing waste and culture is drawn into another vessel known as container attached to the culture vessel. The culture will reach a constant volume and density when equilibrium between inflow of the fresh medium and outflow of the medium is reached. All the constituents of the medium except one are in excess in chemostate. The deficient nutrient will support the growth of only limited number of cells. Thus, the density of culture in chemostate is controlled by nutrient limitations that is carbon source, nitrogen source, ma magnesium, sulfate or phosphorus. By controlling the rate at which nutrients are added to the chemostate, the rate of growth of cell is also controlled. The rate of addition of nutrient addition is referred to as dilution rate. Maximum stability is attained within a range of dilution rate over which cell concentration changes only slight with change in dilution rate. A gradual increase in bacterial concentration and a gradual increase in substrate concentration occur 
when dilution rate begins to increase that is more bacteria are washed out of culture vessel than are produced by the cell division now what are the consequences of lower growth rate of microbes due to increase in dilution rate more organisms will be washed out at a rate greater than they are reproduce and this will result in decrease in biomass concentration due to decrease in biomass concentration of substrate will decrease due to increase in concentration of the substrate biomass concentration increase thus again cell density will be maintained as initial and as initial the problem associated with the chemostate is the increase or decrease in dilution rate and hence decrease or increase in microbial population respectively this problem can be solved by modifying chemostate by adding extra vessels and by adding feedback of biomass into fermenter now feedback system a chemostate including biomass feedback has been modified in such a way that the biomass in vessel reach a concentration above the possible limit in a simple chemostate and feedback system are of two type internal feedback system and external feedback system internal feedback system is the existence of biomass from the chemostate is limited in which in which such a way that the biomass present in the effluent system is less concentrated than in the main fermenter while in external feedback system biomass is separated from the effluent treatment by processes such as sedimentation or centrifugation and returning a portion of the concentrated biomass to the growth vessel now turbidity state the cell density is maintained stable by calculating the medium flow such that the culture turbidity is maintained within certain specific limit in turbidity state the cell density in turbidity state is measured by phosphoelectric device which send signal to the turbidity state to increase or decrease the flow rate of the medium to the fermenter vessel the pump attached to the fermenter for controlling the flow rate will turn on or off depending on the increase or decrease in the level of biomass beyond the set point biostate in biostate it is a system other than turbidity state which measure biomass direct indirectly by measuring the amount of gas produced by the organisms or change in ph due to certain biochemical activity it does not require complex control system to keep a steady state it continuously enrich the culture and avoid the total wash of the culture in its early stage thank you